I think at around 40 years old, I hit this wall and, you know, maybe it's a ministry midlife crisis. I don't know what it is, but when you've been in ministry your whole life, well, at least the life you remember, it becomes this identity. We chase these identities in ministry and for 40 years that had been my identity. And I come up against a season of, of pain again, another season of loss and potentially we could say church abuse, yeah. spiritual abuse. And I remember just walking the dog one day and being like, you know, if this is if this is the church and this is what is going to be my next 40 years, no thank you. And I was having a really honest conversation with the Lord, like, I don't wanna do this anymore. Let me just be a Starbucks barista. Like if I could just go work at Starbucks, I have a degree in kinesiology, I could go be a personal trainer, I could go teach phys ed again. I had so many things. I'm like Dora the Explorer. Like you could put like a snorkel on me and I'll be like, I'm a scuba diver. I don't know, I just, I could do a a bunch of different things. Why am I still doing this? That walk is where the Lord really dropped that phrase, raised to stay into my spirit. To the point where I start weeping because I know that it's not my words. And I ran home and I Googled and there was nothing called raised to stay. And I thought, well, I guess this is my purpose. And I wrote my first Instagram account post that day. And the entire point of that was just to keep me from quitting. 